Mazen Saga Mutant Fighter. Or Mazen Saga, I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Either way, it sounds like a movie where guys in rubber suits should be smashing each other through styrofoam buildings. Which is a good thing. This is on the Sega Genesis and the game begins with a screen showing you some of the back story. This game was released in 1993 and apparently is based on a manga. Which I'm not familiar with, but I found this game for 250. The cartridge was pretty banged up. I wasn't sure what to expect, and I was definitely surprised when I started playing the game. And I've spent some time with it. And it's an interesting game, one that's worth a look. This is a textbook example of a fairly unbalanced game on the Genesis. It has this tremendous two-dimensional side-scrolling beat-em-up mode, which is very similar to Streets of Rage, except with a blue robot cyborg thing and swords. Which is really cool, and the controls on the two-dimensional side-scrolling fighting sections of the game are excellent. It's a lot of fun, the collision detection is above average. And I like the post-apocalyptic style and the buildings wrecked in the backgrounds, and the variety of enemies is pretty neat. There's not much new here, it's pretty much identical to Streets of Rage, except that you're playing as the Mazinger Z robot thing. The game uses all three of the buttons on the Sega Genesis controller, and as you hammer away on the B button, which which is your attack button, you'll do a couple slashes, and then sometimes it'll stab, and if you get close enough, you know, it'll do that super sword thing. You can jump and kick people, you can jump and spin in the air with your sword, and then the A button does a special attack, which kills most of the enemies around you, and then takes health away from you. This is a one-player game. It does not have the cool Double Dragon Streets of Rage multiplayer. Which it really should, and you'll see why it doesn't in a moment. I think you can tell the game is based on a comic book because it's so original and so creative that somebody had to take a lot of time to think about all the stuff in here and all the characters and the designs and the style of the background. I think that's the highlight of the game. Where it really falls apart is when you get to the end of a level and it suddenly turns into a two-dimensional fighting game. That suffers from horrible controls and brings the rest of the game down. And I don't have the packaging for the game, but I imagine that this looked great for marketing. Like, this is a two-dimensional, side-scrolling, science fiction, manga-based video game with a 2D fighting mode. Which makes Mazen Saga amazing. And it's such a drastic departure from the very smooth and fluid two-dimensional beat-em-up style of the rest of the game. Albeit very interesting. And that's my whole point about this game, is it's so creative that you can't help but be entertained. The music in the game is terrible and sounds distorted just coming straight out of the Genesis. If you think it sounds bad in the review, try playing it through good speakers, it sounds even worse. The variety of enemies when you're playing in the 2D beat-em-up mode is really cool and I like these guys that are like zombies and they turn into slinky slugs or something and come after you. If this game had just been solely a 2D side-scrolling adventure beat-em-up, I think that it would have been one of the more memorable titles on the Genesis, but as it is, it's more of a curiosity than anything, but still worth a look.
When I first saw this game, I thought that Mazen Saga was actually short for Amazing Saga. Like, this game is an Amazing Saga, Mutant Fighter. And it wasn't until I played it that I realized that the robot was called the Mazinger Z. Not that it would have made any difference. The 2D side-scrolling action is awesome, while the 2D fighting part of the game sucks. If they could have just removed this stupid one-on-one -on -one fighting mode and just added two-player co-op gameplay on the 2D side-scrolling part of the game, they'd have really had something amazing. Amazing. <laughs> it's like they just ran 90-some yards for a touchdown and stopped at the last yard before going into the end zone and decided to shoot the football like a basketball. <laughs> <laughs>